introduction in English about this style and the historical things. And here the style and the measurement of this style, which is the one Jen, we already explained about it. Just, I need you just to watch. Now, you remember yesterday or the day before also, we did the Aleph, you know, the first letter. Now, just watch how we do this one again, in this style. We do the first part, and it's always, we keep the pen, it's not 45, no. In this time, we hold it like almost 60. It's small, a little bit. Yeah. So you can tell from the, this part. And again, I do it again. This is the first part, and this is the second one. But look, this part, here I twist the pen. Here also we change the angle. You see? Now again, I will do it with the big one. Yeah, again. Do the first part, which is this way. And now, here I, you see, I change, look at the pen here just, I change the angle so I get it sharp. So, but I do it quickly to get it very clean. You see? See, has to be this way. Now, this is the first part. And this is very important in this style. We have two different size of the pen. If this one, we have the, the big one, and this one has to be one third. Okay. Is it clear? So we do this part here later. It's one, and we take it up a little bit. And it has to continue till this bend, this part here. You see this, uh, this letter comparing with the one we studied yesterday was like this way. Yeah. Yeah, almost the same some part, but in general, no, this is much more beautiful. And again, let's see the letter of Bay here. You know, Bay could be beta, whatever, three letters. Just watch. When I reach this part here, I twist the pen to get it. You see, I moved it. Now again, it's two dots again. And if we have this is ba or ta, and here is the just to give you like the the proportion for the letters, so you have it in the note. I'm not going to explain it. But let's see. I move to the letter J or G. Now in this style, we have so many different options. Let's see. This is uh, you all understand, right? This is the letter of J or J in Spanish. Sí. Yeah, J. We start with the m m this part here first. So till we re reach this point, and here, I even here I change the angle of the pen here. It has to change here this way. Now later, the last part, I added this one, the top, the upper part here. I go backward. I didn't start from here, I start from back. Is it clear? Yeah. So here is the start. But again, look how many different ways. This is the letter could be Jim or Ha or Kha, whatever. But again, I have another design. Now this design could go down here. Now still the same letter here, but what I shall do, like do this part, and again this one. It's one and two. And this one has to be half of that one. You see? And now again, and if I get this, it has to be straight. And this is the line. Usually we have line when we do writing. I'm trying to explain the whole thing about this letter. And you see how many different in? We have one, two, three, four different ones. So I'm not going to repeat it. It should be easy. But basically, we have to start with the major design. And later, we add this one from the top. And again, this side and dot here. Just watch here, this part. 
we do this one first and this is we start from the top again and we mix it up we start again from this part till we reach this point and we have to bend a little bit this part this is that and if I continue to do the other letter which is the same part which is ta or dot but here I have to twist the pen quickly so I get it sharp again here and start with this part which is like alif the letter of A and again join it with this part now I will continue with the with the ayin why have you changed your paper uh, I need it to be very strong because we focus only in calligraphy not with the composition and playing today we just practice with black if you want to practice with color no problem but this one is because we want just to control the calligraphy not, nothing else I mean because this is different style much more complicated again look at this part which is a G or Kha whatever and again we repeat the same part and just please watch this part which is which is like almost over you see mm -hmm. right and this letter Ayn yeah. yeah this is different letter and we start from this part one and we take this and the other part here why do you use uh, different color? Dif this is the the speciality of this style because as I told you before, this is uh, this style, it's combining the whole Arabic and Islamic calligraphy style to get the maximum beautiness in the yeah. calligraphy. So this one, this one third and two third comes from Talik style. You know, Talik is the style of Farisi called Farisi from Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. So this style and the Ottoman style, the Arabic style, and the Andalusian style, all together, this is the result. And again, w with Jim and Kha, we have it this way as a circle, and we can even release it. We can bring it down again this way. So we have many different designs. I want you now to go and uh, practice these letters. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. 